talk about some of the differences between one of my very first pieces that I refinished versus my most recent piece that I refinished and talk about the different materials I used and the process and what I've learned over time. So this piece here, this buffet, I worked on probably four years ago, maybe three, four, three or four years ago. It was one of my first like major big pieces that I worked on. And I used Rust-Oleum chalk paint. Chalk paint was like all the rage at the time and um, so I tried it. It was really thick. I didn't know at the time that you should use a spray bottle and water things down as you go. Um, so I did use a primer on this. I scuff sand, I primed, and I did two coats of gray plus a top coat. And I feel like it's smooth but bumpy, if that makes any sense. Um, it's not like rough or scratchy. It just like, I can feel bumps in it. And I attribute that to using this sponge foam roller um, and the thick paint. I feel like it just left like every little bump that this thing has on it. Um, so I think from far away, it looks fine. And when people touch it, they're like, oh, it's fine. But for me, it's not like that smooth finish that you would expect. Um, so it's held up over time. I feel like there was a lot of cure time so I wanted to put things on it right away and I didn't let it cure fully and I have like little indentations from where things were sitting where I probably should have let it cured longer. But overall, not bad. I sometimes think about sanding it all down and refinishing it now with a different paint and different process now that I know more, but it's okay, it's fine for now. Um, and then this guy, was my most recent, and I discovered um, Dixie Bell's Silk Mineral Paint. Um, and this is all-in-one um, primer and paint and top coat. So primer, color, top coat, all-in-one. And minimal prep. Um, so whereas this one, I had to do the primer by itself, two coats of color by itself, and a top coat by itself. This one was just this can and just two coats. Um, and then when I put it on, I use a synthetic zebra brush, and it leaves virtually no lines, no brush strokes. It feels totally smooth to the touch. I did not sand in between coats, and I don't know. I just like the finish better. Um, this one, I know it was my top coat that I used, but it's a little shinier, whereas this one has more of like a satin kind of finish. Um, I don't want to call it matte. There's like a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's just not as glossy as this one. Um, so yeah, hindsight being 2020, now knowing what I do know, I'm not sure that I will ever go back to like chalk paint, or at least this Rust-Oleum chalk paint. Um, or if I do, I know that I would water it down this time. And I don't think I would roll on chalk paint anymore. I would probably do it with a brush. I used to think that um, painting it on with a brush that it would leave brush strokes. But really, if you use a really good synthetic brush and a self-leveling paint, you have virtually no lines. Um, so yeah, I just wanted a quick check-in with one of my first pieces versus my most recent piece and give you some of the tips that I've learned over time. All right, guys. So I am just going to show you um, some visual differences. Hopefully, if my camera will focus here, I can show you that on this most recent piece, Everything looks smooth and feels smooth to the touch. Versus the uh, one of the first pieces that I've worked on and you can see, well maybe you can see, maybe not, if I can get it to focus. Um, there are some lines in here. I feel like maybe this was um, poor cure time, like I just didn't let things cure long enough before setting things on it or before wiping it down. 
Um, some of these lines might have been in here from when I was sanding in between coats. Again, the chalk paint was just like kind of difficult to work with because I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, I don't know if you can see what I see in real life, but I'm going to try. Um, and then I will also give you a quick view of the paint that I am liking right now, which is Dixie Belle's Silk Mineral Paint and the zebra brushes that are synthetic and what I started with which was chalk paint and specifically this rust-oleum one and a foam brush. So thanks for joining me and I will see you guys next time.